it's gonna be baptism by fire, which I'm kind of stoked about. First time at Elsinore under the lights. It's really intense. It's an intense experience from inside the truck by yourself. And uh, going into the race, it's pretty intimidating because there are a lot of guys with a lot of practice and you got 35,000 horsepower on the track at one time, about to tear it up. I'm so on the steep side of the learning curve that I'll be honest, I learn about the truck driving through the pits. It's totally foreign to me, but I'm learning quickly. crashed last night, the truck is destroyed. I was like, oh my God, I don't know if we're gonna be doing anything tomorrow. And these guys just take a deep breath and they're up until three in the morning. I, I come back this morning and it's like a brand new truck again. It's pretty incredible what, first of all, what these trucks take, and second of all, what these teams do to keep them on the track. Going into the qualifying session, I know the intensity that I need to have right off the bat. I went over the whoops and I came to the last turn, it just, one or two cylinders just kind of cut out. It sort of sputtered, so I shut the engine off real quick and never got running again. It's a shame losing the motor. Yesterday I lost a motor of mine. We had to put the spare in my truck so we don't have a spare for Tanner. And I know he was super excited and really looking forward to tonight. You know, we're gonna do our best to get him in that truck again and get out there on the racetrack. So my night's done. It sucks, but I'm gonna watch tonight. The difference is I'll have a beer in my hand instead of not, and I'm gonna learn still. So back at Elsinore, and this is the last weekend of the Lucas Off-Road Racing Championship. Just finished qualifying, didn't really put in a clean lap, never could really clean the engine out, but the guys are throwing everything at it, and that could all change for tonight's race. First weekend I got two for one. This one they actually have a makeup race in the series from Las Vegas. So I'm taking full advantage. I mean four races for basically four days out of my life. It's awesome. Every single lap I do around the track, I learn something, but there's no faster way, I think, to learn than to go head to head. In reality, getting next to Greg Adler, to see where he was getting grip and where I couldn't get it, and where sometimes I'd get some braking on him, and I have a lot, lot to learn, but that little experience is a pretty valuable part of it. But day two, I got roosted really bad, and just completely blind up the thing, and grabbed a tear off 30 feet in the air, and I was like, yeah, and then bam, you know, neck crack and then back into the game again. Wrapped up here at Elsinore and finished the last race also, but still a big, long road ahead uh, if I'm ever going to learn how to be as quick as uh, McCachran and some of these other guys that have been doing it for decades. Love the challenge, love to be humbled like that, and it just kind of makes me want to do more. <laughs>